Hey guys, it's Rob from Mr. Homeowner. How's it going? Welcome back. If you're new here, please subscribe. Anyway, I don't care if you have a trog griller, a Blackstone, Camp Chef, whatever kind of griddle for outside. Eventually it's gonna get either rusty or even moldy. Like right now, this is moldy. I want to take a look. So I haven't used this actual griddle in probably a month or two. And it's out here on my back patio. And you can see there's, there's some mold on here. Uh, right in the middle here. So that's either, I mean, you know there's moisture. Uh, it has a, a flat top on it, a hard top. And uh, moisture gets trapped under there and it just starts growing mold if you don't use it all the time. So what we're going to do today is get that cleaned off. First thing we're going to do is fire it up. We're going to get it as hot as it'll go. Let that heat up for good, probably 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to let this burn off as much as I can at first. So we'll check back another 10, 15 minutes, see where it's at, and we'll go from there. All right, it's been about, been about 10 minutes. You can see it's getting pretty hot. It is about 40 degrees out right now, uh, so it's a little chilly. Plus it's a little windy out. You can see there's trees in the background there. This would probably be better on a day where there's not as much wind or a little, a little warmer out. It'll get, it'll probably get hotter. Um, can't find my infrared gun, but I have it up all the way on, on high. Uh, so that's the best I can do. So for today. Um, so nothing's really coming up yet. What I want to do is probably want to cool it down a tiny bit. Start spraying some water on it. Right in these uh, these main areas here where, where the mold is. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Turn it off for a bit. In a few minutes, pour some water on and we'll see what we can scrape up. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's see what happens. Now there was a thin layer of the mold that came off when I first did the scraping. This water is coming up kind of clean. You can see. So we could do, put some more water on. Looks like it's coming up clean here. Clean for the most part. We got a little bit on there. Just keep doing this until it comes clean. So I'll keep doing that and we'll be back. All right, so I got to heat it back up again. I did some more wiping and scraping and what I'm left with now, no more green anywhere. And this is the same, uh, same level as everything else. There's no, nothing sticking up, nice and smooth. So this just needs to be re-seasoned or a little bit more oil on here. And I'm hoping it'll all come up about the same color again. So it's heat, it's all heated up again. I'm gonna turn it off, let it cool down a tiny bit. Add some more oil.
we're ready to cook. So that's about it. Um, you're gonna heat it up. Try to get as much of that stuff off you as you can while it's dry. You know, heat it up all the way to high. Scrape it with a nice good scraper. Wipe it down with some water. Uh, once you see the water start to bubble clear and you don't have, have as much stuff on your uh, on your paper towels, then you know you're, you're pretty much good. Um, yeah, just keep going at it until it seems clean to you. Heat it up a couple times if you want to high, let it sit another 10, 15 minutes if you want. Make sure that's burned off. You don't want to you don't want to cook anything on a moldy grill. But yeah, oil it back up again, and you should be good to go. So I hope this helps anybody. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.